Hi guys, welcome to the Tasty Teas Cooking Show. This is my new channel. I will be posting more videos. So today, what I have here, I will be making some chicken sauce. This is a down south meal. Not everybody knows about this meal. Also, Bahamians make chicken sauce. It's similar to it, but not exactly how they do it. So this is going to be my way. I do have some sausages here that I will be adding to my chicken sauce today. All right, so we'll be back. All right, guys, so I'm back right now. I'm going to cut up the onions and bell pepper. I have some red bell pepper here, also some green bell pepper. And I've already rinsed them. I have my bowl on the side with my um, water for my potatoes. I have my sausage here to cut up. So basically, you can cut your onions however you want to cut them. And for my chicken sauce today, I'm going to cut them a long way. This knife is very sharp, y'all, so I'm trying to be very careful. And I'm just going to use about this much because I'm going to open them up. Alright, so I'm going to slice my bell peppers the same way. That's about all I'm going to use. My red bell pepper. And I'm just going to show you guys and then I'll be back. I just want to show you how I'm going to cut my potatoes. Cut them in half. I'm going to cut that little skin off right there. Ew, that's ugly right there. Alright, so as you guys can see, I, I cut that off. So I'm just gonna dice them. I'm trying to figure out how big I want them. I'll dice them like this. So you can dice them like this. You can peel them. If you wanna peel your potatoes, if you don't like the skin, the skin is healthy. So I sometimes keep the skin on my potatoes. But if you don't like the skin, you could just cut it this way. And then just basically dice them however you like. I like mine chunky like this, so I'm not going to cut them as small. So I just showed you the two ways you can do it. Just going to cut this sausage up and then I'll be back. Oh, Okay, guys, I'm back and now I'm going to clean my chicken. What I'm doing right now is I'm adding a little bit of white vinegar to my chicken. I'm going to add some water, a little water to it. I also have some lime Right now, I really don't feel like rubbing down the chicken, so I'm just gonna squeeze that lime juice in there. And we're gonna wash this chicken. I'm gonna clean this chicken up really good. And I'm not gonna leave it in here too long, so just washing it up, getting it all clean. I can start the cooking process. And I'm just going to rinse it again one more time. Now, if you guys were paying attention, that first water was a little, a little dirty. This one is a little more cleaner. I'm gonna rinse it one more time. All right, so we'll be back. All right, so I'm back. I already got my seasoned chicken here. I seasoned my chicken before I put it in the water. And right now what I'm doing is squeezing some lemon and lime juice on my chicken. That was powerful, y'all. <laughs> I have a little too strong for myself. All right, and what I sometimes do, um, I'll add like a piece of the lemon wedge down in there. So this just, 
I'm just gonna put this big piece in here like this, but I'm gonna take it out just to give it a little more flavor. And then I'm also gonna add my um, onions and bell peppers to it. And it ain't even cooking yet, y'all, but it smells good. It smells good. Now I have a little bit of time here I'm just gonna drop down in it. Gonna add my little garlic in it. And then I'm gonna add the chicken broth. Yeah. So I'm gonna add, that's one chicken broth. And you can use any kind, you can use the Swanson if you want. I just picked up the cheaper one, which is a great value at Walmart. Added those two. Now I'm gonna add some also great value apple cider vinegar. To give it that little vinegary taste like the pork sauce. Then I'm gonna put my hot sauce in. My crystal hot sauce. And again, you're gonna add everything to your taste. Um when I season, I don't season, I don't measure anything, is what I'm trying to say. I add a little bit more lemon juice in there. I don't measure anything. It's just, I've been cooking so long. I just pretty much eyeball it so I won't be able to tell y'all how much to put. So this is pretty much it right here. I'm gonna put it on the stove and we'll be back with the finished product. All right guys, so I'm back. I'm gonna add my potatoes to my chicken sauce. So what we have right here is my chicken sauce cooking. Get in there good so you can see so as you can see, I added some corn on the cob into it. Um, my chicken is cooked, but it need to cook a little longer. I got my sausages in here. Now I'm about to add my potatoes to it. I add my potatoes last because I don't want my potatoes to overcook. So once these potatoes get done, the sauce will be ready. It smells amazing. Just adding a little bit of black pepper to it. All right, so I'll be back with the final product. All right, guys, so I'm back with the finished product. This is my chicken sauce. I have me some mini crackers on the side that you guys can see right here to go with it. It's a cold night tonight. I believe it's about 37 degrees outside, but we're gonna have this chicken sauce tonight, the kids and I, and we're gonna enjoy this. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you guys try this recipe and let me know. Comment below. Let me know how you liked it. All right. Ciao.